Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the BitSocket Podcast. I am... Who am I again? It's been a while. It should be Star Wars, you shouldn't it, really? Star Wars, I am... Obi Scott... Kenobi? Ken White. <laughs> I'm Ken Scott. White. Obi Scott Ken White. I'm Ken White. And I'm Darth Joe Darth. <laughs> and I'm going for Jojo Binks. <laughs> Jojo Binks. Uh, no, I don't want to be Jojo. Jojo Binks. Jojo. George. George Binks. George Binks. I am George Binks. Uh, George. If you want to grab a seat, or you want a tear of coffee, and we'll talk about this loan. <laughs> right. So we're back. We had a wee. It wasn't even much of a. It's no, because it? you were moving your flat. We had a week off. I moved my whole flat. flat yeah. I moved the whole flat onto the back of a flatbed truck. I moved <laughs> it out into Glasgow's affluent West End oh, right, except right. I'm not really I, I, I don't bit, I think you're in no, I think you, you know when you <laughs> like in, you know when you go past Glasgow's affluent West End to you, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you keep going yeah yeah keep going Yeah, not quite to Yoker but <laughs> yeah. I'm still in about two stops away from Yoker yeah. I think that's I might you have could, to explore it you could, you could actually live in real life that Lemmy sketch about going to Yoker for good <laughs> anyway Joe what games have you been playing uh, I've been playing a lot of games because uh, I had to play all the racing games to get footage from them for our uh, latest video did we do a video? <laughs> we did do a video. East vs West racing games. Should you get check it out if you get a chance? It's uh, really, really good. Thank you, I will. I- I'm talking. I'm talking to you right now because I know you've not watched it yet. I was so, in it. Yeah, all that. I wrote, I wrote half I of it. I put a lot of hard work in that video. Yeah, a well, lot of hard work. Well, what, we filmed it in August <laughs> and we released it in right, November. To be fair, I moved flat. I left my job. It's <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> a sort of seismic event right, in my life. We've been over this. Since, like, what? You were pushed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we been playing? Uh, I've been getting back into Xenoblade Chronicles because you guys have all been. How of, far are you? Uh, I've got. I'm at a bit where the, I'm going through a, like a swamp and there's some sort of gate and there's a wee Nopon guy. You know, the mm-hmm. wee, and he's saying to me, "I've got to pick up four things." You're right. Oh, uh, and yeah. So I have picked up two of them, and then another one. You have to walk through like a like waste deep water to get to it. The poison water, and it's fucking hard because not only is it poison water, but there's like big beasties. My as well. my way of doing it was just pretty much belting all the way through the water, yeah, and then just hoping if I went behind a beastie, yeah. it wouldn't notice me for yeah. long enough there's for like, my health to come These back. big giant frog things as well. Mm-hmm. The big ears. Oh. That was you see the first time I played it on the the Wii. Yeah. That was pretty much the bit I stopped at. Right, and then it wasn't until it's really testing my patience. Mm. And it wasn't until I got it on yeah. the 3DS that I got to that bit and then went past it. Yeah. To be honest, that was, you see, once you're past that bit, that was probably for me one of the most frustrating bits right. of the game. Okay. After that, it actually all just yeah. clicked in. And see, when you played it, did you do all the side quests and all that, or did you just power through? If there were side quests that were kind of coin- coincidental, yeah. I think there's ones where you can help rebuild one of the colonies. Oh, aye. I'm not, and I'm I did bits of that, really that. But to be honest, by the time I started doing it, the rewards it was giving me were. A pittance right, uh, to, yeah. to what my level needed. So, so Jenkins okay just going through the going through the game, just grinding. I would just fire through, see the story, yeah. do the boss fights. Right. I didn't, I I didn't really do a lot of side missions, and yeah. I didn't feel. Well, any I'm determined to get it finished before Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out. We've well, got uh, twelve days or something. something like, I'm sure I'll manage. Hmm. I've got a week off from work coming up soon. So week off from work. Yeah. You mean what? I, I can't have a week off from nothing. <laughs> 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 uh, gonna... By the way, if anyone wants to hire a graphic designer, usually I just, sometimes I just go to the library and read the books. Have you read the new Stephen King? <laughs> <laughs> On Joe's CV, I am very much into books. <laughs> what were you? What have you been playing? Me, it's, I've actually I've had, to write, I had another week where I've had to write them down. Did you a list, for God's sake. I did, right. So I'll start, Rain, yeah. I'll start with the, the worst. And work my way forward to the best. Right, okay. The worst so, being... So Fallout 4. Yeah, Fallout 4. Yeah. Which, right, I get it. I get folk like it. No. It's just not for me. It's, they're all it's wrong. not for me. Let's be honest, they're all wrong. I'm not going to say Fallout 3 was shit. You knew it. You, we all knew it. I, I <laughs> you told you. It. Back at the time, back when you played it, you are like, this is good. And I was like, no, it's shit. Mm-hmm. And I was right. Fallout 4, it's, I just find it very boring. Yeah. And I was actually I was talking to a um, friend of the show, Bitsocket Andy, oh, yeah, Bit last Socket night before Andy. we went and saw the new Hunger Games film, yeah. which was good by the way. And he kind of, I was like, right, tell me what happens. He's completed already. And he mm. told me the story and I was like, is that it? And I think uh, what I've realised is when it comes to RPGs, I'm a story man. Well, yeah. I'm a dapper dan When man. it comes I'm to RPGs, man. like racing games, mm-hmm. if it ain't Jap, it's crap. I think my biggest problem with the Fallout games is at no point... Do you fight God? <laughs> yeah. Right. At no point is right. God the enemy. You're not a spiky hero, a big sword. Uh, yeah. I did try to make Kazuma Kiryu. Nobody's at school. <laughs> yeah. I tried to make Kazuma Kiryu, but it just didn't. Oh, work out. hey, talk about Kazuma Kiryu. You know, there's a Kazuma Kiryu Figma figure coming out. Oh, they announced that he's. Yeah, no, but they, they show the picture of the like the unpainted prototype version. Oh, I've not it seen that. It looks cool. It looks really, really cool. Is it, is it like Kazuma 
Right. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got his shirt on. But, oh, right. uh, rubbish. Yeah. Rubbish. I've also been playing... Now, I suppose, like I said, worst to best. That's not really true. It's only Fallout 4 I've not enjoyed. Playing some of Transformers Devastation. Oh, I've not played that mm, yet. It's good. It's really good. It was like going for 20 quid in uh, game. So I was like, uh, oh, fuck it, why not? I, I kind of want to pick it up, but I've got so many games right I've now. I've only... I'll be honest, I've only played like the first half hour. <laughs> um, but it is. It's really good. really yeah, enjoyable. Um, good. It's just it's a platinum game. It, it does feel... £20 feels like the right price for it, mm. I'll be honest, because I think it does feel a wee bit like a budget title. Right. But there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's some of the best games that came out in the PS2 era exactly. you know, were budget titles. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Then Star Wars Battlefront, mm. which uh, came out on Thursday, yep. which I've played not a lot of, but just what I've played, it's a pure buzz. More than me. But I will have played more by the end of this episode. Five minutes more. Five to be minutes exact. more to be exact. And just lastly, bravely default. Uh, which because yeah. now I'm a commuter, yeah. I'm a stinking commuter. I thought some mornings it's nice to read my book. Other mornings I fancied a wee taste of some JRPG fun. Yeah. And so I picked up Bravely Default. And you know what? It looks loving smashing. It. Absolutely loving yeah, it. Yeah, it looks smashing. It looks really good. I think what's weird is like because I played the demo originally mm. and never got it. Like I had exactly the same. JRPG thing. Yeah. demos, like it reminds me of the one that came out for it was Tales of Vesperia on the 360. Mm. Had a had a wee but like maybe five minutes of walking and then a boss fight <laughs> and it was really like you were kind of under leveled yeah. for the boss fight and you didn't know the controls and you're like this is shite but the full game was good. And I think Bravely Default is the same. I remember. The, on the Dreamcast, one of the the official Dreamcast magazine came with a demo for Skies of Arcadia once, mm-hmm. and I, I I must have played that demo start to finish about ten times before yeah. I played the actual game. Wait, did, it, did it start at the beginning of the, the beginning game? of the game? See, that's and you got the better. first you got the first two dungeons of the game. Yeah. That's, that's was, quite a lot, and I was huge. But then again, yeah. the game itself was massive. So, yeah. yeah, Skies of Arcadia. When are we getting that? I know. Imagine that, that on your 3DS. I'd, I'd love that. I'd love Ooh. that. So Speaking much. of 3DS, he's had to do the whole folded paper trick. I heard about, I've, this is getting me worried about mine, because I bought mine before you mm. did. And well, we bought it, it was about the same, same-ish time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just seems like uh, sometimes the battery's a bit loose, so I've had to fold a wee bit of paper in the bag. <laughs> took it out of my bag, because I thought maybe in my break mm. I'll check my street pass and stuff like that. <laughs> and that's what you do. And I got, one of the guys at work was like, oh, what's this? And, I was like, and he's kind of into games, and I opened up, and the second I opened it up, it just turned off. <laughs> and I was like... All right, <laughs> I had to borrow like a pair of scissors off someone to unscrew it, and it's been fine now. But it happened a few times where it just turned off mm. randomly, which was a bit annoying. But anyway, Joe, yeah. right, we're had enough about talking about Nintendo's failings. <laughs> yeah, or Nintendo. So what we're we gonna do then? Right, five minutes in heaven. Go for it. Five minutes in heaven is where we get the Joe Man, <laughs> Jojo Binks, Jojo Binks, Jaws Binks, to have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> they play a game for five minutes and give us the definitive verdict. Yeah. Now, this week we're going to do Star Wars Battlefront because mm. it's just new out. Now, what we're going to do is because playing an online game for five minutes means that, to be honest, I don't think you would get anything out of that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the, the four training missions you can play. So there's four to choose from. The training, the training wheels are on. Mm-hmm. The stabilizers. <laughs> they are. So we have Beggar's Canyon, Endor Chase, right. Overpower. Oh, I, remember, I, I remember sides. Overpower from the film. Ah, that was my favourite bit. So, Joe, I'm going to let you choose. Uh, well, Beggar's Canyon says, learn to fly an X-Wing over the canyons of Tatooine while searching for Imperial Tibbet. So, that involves flying an X-Wing, which is... Is that your chat? That's my chat. That's right, I there like we it. go. Right, press the X. Solo play. Solo play. Hand solo oh, you play. Can do, <laughs> you can do split screen. Yeah, you can. We should have done that. No, I can't be bothered. Right, fuck right okay, so we'll start the five minutes from when it starts, because... So I'm loading screen right now and I feel like that'd be cheating you. That would be, that would be pretty rude. I'd be like, you order. It would a- certainly diminish the value I give the game at the end of this five minutes. I'd be like, order a 20p mix up and find out the 5p of that's the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Quite Thank, a, you. It's Thank, quite you. A for Thank you. It's quite a full proof. Thank you. Right, start mission. Here we go. Right, okay. Your mission begins now. Oh, okay. okay that's, that's just like rogue leader in the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that off. Right? I actually, I bought that on eBay the other day. So. Did you? Aye. I haven't, haven't had cut, the cutting edge. Right, so. Okay, the left stick does fuck all. So the right stick steals. That's really. Oh, uh, he killed himself already 15 <laughs> seconds in. That's because you've got the controls upside down. Right. Those are the default controls. I don't change the controls. That's not right, though. I'm going to change this because it's not right. How you can he change them? Settings. Jesus. Settings. Right, well, I hope you know this is eating into your five minutes. Yeah, uh, invert flight, yes. Fucking, why would you ever... What, what? But you notice you're yeah, having to invert it. It wasn't... That, it's meant to be inverted, though. Right, okay, so... Right, R2 shoot. How'd I go faster? You push oh, okay. forward. Left stick. This is really... Like, this is like, the wrong way around. I'd prefer the left stick to be... <sighs> rolling and stuff. 
you, how, how you roll. Oh, see, I keep I was trying, again. I was so trying, I was trying to use the left stick there. You've not met right. a single enemy yet. I'm swapping in a this over again. Uh, how do you? I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. Then can you close the wings? There we go. That's a loop there. Oh no, that's going backwards. Myself Joe's killed himself again. Oh. You've got one life left. Yeah, uh, no, I've got two lives left. There's two hearts there. No, there's one. No, right, that's a. Right, here we go. Four. Right. Forward again. Uh, into darkness. The guys, the, yeah, that's your squadron are actually already fighting people right. over there. L2 to lock out the target. I'll stay inside the canyon, quick. Oh, for God's sake. Quick. You can also do an, uh, you can do um, cockpit view if you push down on the D pad. That's what I did by accident last time. It's quite cool. Right, there you go, there's it's some... It's not very fast, is it? Are you pushing forward? I was pushing forward there, but... Right, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to the third person. It feels more like Rogue Squadron doing that, but... <laughs> so, what to do is, if you hold L2, you'll get a lock-on. Yeah. Then you can hit R1 to fire a homing missile, as well. Ah, uh, there we go. But if you also hold it down, it'll oh. help kind of guide your lasers as well. Does it? That'd be nice. To a degree. Like, you still need to be kind of pointing in the right direction. L1 will give you a shield. This is difficult. This is really difficult. Uh, the sound effects are alright, aren't they? Are alright? <laughs> no, they're alright, as in, like, you know. The sound effects are alright. Oh, I said, and him crashing. No, no, he didn't. He's still flying. These TIE fighters are quite durable compared to the films, aren't they? Do you know what I'm thinking is, you see right. if this was the real film. Ah, there we go, there we go. If this was the real film, I'd probably think that your pilot was probably a spy. <laughs> for I'm, for I'm, the Empire. I'm Porkins. <laughs> <laughs> it came from behind. <laughs> It's Porker Lewis. <laughs> Porker Lewis. The return of Porker Lewis. Uh, fucking... Doesn't it look nice? George Spinks. It does look nice. It does look very nice. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Filling. Excuse like, me, my torpedo. You destroyed that cloud. How many torpedoes do you get? Uh, well, it, it, like in the the main game, all your power ups recharge over time, oh, yeah, so you good. don't have a you've got essentially unlimited ammo, that's but good. you've got to have a cooldown in between. And the main game works like that as well. So cool. if you've got like, say, a sniper rifle power up, you can fire it off once, and then you just have to wait for it to recharge. And I know I just said fire it off once because I saw you, I saw you tetter. <laughs> you yourself, I'm so you happy with yourself. I'm so yeah. predictable. The see the wee the wee arrows that tell you where the bodies are like off the screen they could be doing with a lot they could be doing with a lot more brightness to them because they can it's quite hard to see it may just be your telly though oh right more X thing eh, sorry tie fighters coming up right you've got forty five seconds <laughs> right we'll see if I can right have you noticed I've not died since the actual bodies have started coming like it was just it was <laughs> literally just the canyon itself was my worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> And it's weird because you think they'd have they would have got rid of that in training. <laughs> they wouldn't have given you the X wing until they knew uh, yeah. you could fly out a canyon. <laughs> the game actually locks it out. <laughs> it's a bit like if you're doing a driving test and they didn't ask you to do reverse parking, and then suddenly you found out you'd never had to do it before. <laughs> yeah, you could drive your car. But emergency you stop. Yeah, so like, how how do I stop this? Right. It's very slow. I don't. I just remember the platforms are a lot faster than this. But again, it seems like everyone else is just moving faster than you. <laughs> Very slow, said the man walking beside a car. <laughs> I'm very slow compared to that car. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> no, what is wrong with that car to go so fast and me so slow? Uh, here comes Porkins, I'm going to help you. And your five minutes is up. Oh, what? I realised that I'd uh, changed the alarm on it to oh, be silent. Right. Sorry, oh. we missed it. I know, exactly. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll crash one more time. Oh no, I've finished the mission. No, you haven't. No, you have. Oh, I'll say it's coming there. Doesn't matter. Right. Doesn't matter. Right, okay. So. Yep. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> so obviously, what you've done there is you've you've had a wee sample of the the flying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> obviously, it is also a shooting game. <laughs> but I think based on that, we're not going to go to that route. <laughs> we're, not, we're not. You know what? I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> so, what did you think of flying the next wing? Eh, I was alright. It was good. It's good. It could have been, it could have been a lot better. I think. The like how? Are, like how? It's not as fast and as responsive as Rogue. <laughs> do you does. think if it was too fast, you'd maybe have problems shooting things? No. Uh, if it was way too fast, I think basically Rogue Leader is the high point for X Wing games. Right. 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 It's not as good as that, but it's almost as good. A as GameCube that. game. Yeah. A GameCube game. It's, you, know, you know what's funny actually? How nice Rogue Leader looks, even compared to Battlefront. Are you saying it looks better than this? I'd, well, I'd say it's obviously this is widescreen and high definition, but the actual X-wing model and the lights and the lasers and all that are 
pretty much bang on. A GameCube game? Yeah. A, a game they put GameCube. a lot of work into that game. You know how that, that game is difficult to emulate because it's so like optimised for the GameCube. It's really, really good. Optimising something for the GameCube is a bit like saying I've got this key but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Shut up. I've got this key. No, oh, lock, if, there, if, no if there was one Star Wars game that they would... You know how they've re-released Super Star Wars this week? If there was yeah. one Star Wars game that really is begging to be re-released, it's... Nice Old, Old Republic? Rogue Leader. No. <laughs> it's Rogue Leader definitely needs a release. But it's never going to happen because it's Nintendo, Factor 5, Lucasfilm and all that are all involved mm. with it. So It's like the GoldenEye thing. Right. Right. Let's cut the chat. Right, okay. Is it the best game you've played for five minutes this year? No. <laughs> it's Yakuza 5 is the best right, game I've played. ignoring Yakuza 5. Uh, no, because I also... Pl- well, did I play this year? You tell me. Did I play Shovel Knight this year? I can't remember. Mm, no. no. Did I ever play Shovel Knight? Let's <laughs> play that at home. That's me dumb. <laughs> you, you played it at home. Uh, I at can't home. remember half the games now. It's definitely better than... It's better than Ollie Ollie and all that. Is I that think. the one they won? <laughs> uh, it's better. Star Wars Battlefront. It's better than that sound Indie one. game Ollie Ollie What's the one where you did... You went across the screen and you picked up the little notes or whatever. Sound shapes. Yeah, I think it's so. It's better than that. Uh, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Right, uh, there we go, it's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jojo Bikes. <laughs> I've got a feature. I'll have you now. You've It'll get on your nerves. A very handsome feature. Hi. <laughs> I've got a lot of features. You've got handsome features. Got lots of bumps. I've got lots of handsome features. <laughs> What's my least handsome feature? Probably the, your lobes. Are you being serious? If, well, uh, you can start to you. Do you know how long I've been in therapy with these earlobes? It's up to you. you, can, you can, it's because I've had my hair cut and you can see them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a haircut last week as well. I feel a bit colder. We both I went to the same barber. I think it, I think it was the wrong, uh, wrong season to get yeah. a haircut. We both go to John's the barber. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the best barber in Glasgow. Yeah, it's good. It's cheap as well. It's cheap, eh? Yeah. It was only it was 50p. There's a guy at the place I'm working right now who was mm-hmm. recommending, was it Soul Barbers or Soul Cuts or something in the West mm-hmm. End? Yeah. Fucking wanky place with, you know... Uh, beard oil and a motorbike in the window and all that like fuck that they give you beer and everything like no I assholes I assholes oh, you, do you give me up here no but uh, you're not paying like 25 quid for like, a trim really didn't you used to go to one of those Wait, Wait, I minute. did used to go one of them back in Kamarna and Kamarna. I regret it yeah. so Conway's Conway's uh. oh <laughs> <laughs> right, right, sorry, we're having some very deep commandment cuts. I don't know that witness because even though I was under 18, they still saved me beer because they thought I was over. Anyway. Oh, yeah. It's because no one oh, under the age of 18 was going into coin with his hair <laughs> so long. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> Meta Crocker shit is a feature we've not done for a Oh, while. yeah, it's good. So, Meta. <laughs> That's the, it, like, reviewing our own feature. Thank you. Uh, uh, 8 out of 10. Uh-huh. We'd do again. So <laughs> Metacritic Croc- Croc- Shit is where I go through some of the user reviews uh-huh. on Metacritic for some of the biggest games of the year. <laughs> and I read them out to Joe and Joe's got to guess what the game is uh-huh. and what the score is. Right. But to be honest, it's more about the game. More about the game. Yeah. Right. So I've actually picked these are all games from this year. Right. Games from In fact, my childhood. Looking at it, these are all games over the last four or five months. All right, okay. So you're not in with a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number one. Mediocrity that makes blatant use of nostalgic love for much better games. Sold entirely on the word of hipsters that <laughs> want to be in on the ground floor for the newest hit. Do not buy or play this game. Don't even play it if you didn't pay for it. <laughs> Leave the steaming turd on the sidewalk where it belongs. Right, okay. The fact that it says like hipsters getting in first makes me think of two games this year. Okay. So... Can I take two guesses? Or? No. Oh, okay, well, my first guess is going to be Life is Strange. You'd be wrong. Oh, Undertale. Undertale would have been correct. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Half a point. Oh. Half a point. <laughs> okay. And hey, wait, whoa, wait, so well, what I'm score two out of ten then. Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay, zero. Number two. No choice in how to develop your character. No branching storylines and quests. No real RPG elements whatsoever. This is one of the most dumbed down entries I've seen in a series that once prided itself on choice and consequence. No choice. Choice and consequence. RPG elements? What RPG could it be? Been loads, that's the thing. I'll go with the new Tales. Tales of, the, Tales of the Steria. Fallout 4. Oh, right, really? Yeah, I wrote this one. <laughs> <laughs> not really. And Surely the, that's not... Surely Fallout 4 is like... The point is that there's so much choice that it's just... I'm, t- I'm just reading. Right, okay. And what do you think that I got? A two out of ten at the end. One. One. <laughs> two, <laughs> out ten, right, two out of ten. Two out of ten. This game is fun. There are problems when you start the game. That was it. You think, hey, I can make any level I want from these four games, but no. You have to unlock the other main character, uh, games and the other things for animating your levels. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't, what? <laughs> I didn't know that well. That was a really... And then there's like four stars. <laughs> decision on the game makers. Really part. shit decision, I think he means. Yeah, probably. Really shit decision. Really <laughs> fuck decision. <laughs> really... Really dick decision. Right, so what game could that possibly be? Yeah, it's Mario Maker. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, and yeah. so remember this guy says it's fun. Well, he says it's quite fun. I think, I'm thinking it's 4 out of 10. 1. Oh, what? <laughs> this game is quite fun. But um, I'm giving this game a, a 1 out of 10 for fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't even have to play the game that long to unlock the stuff. I know. Like, so, so far, Blood looking damn. at it, so you've got 1.5 points. 1.5 points. Yeah. This game is so overrated. It's not even close to being a masterpiece. Little to no story, <laughs> mediocre graphics, very repetitive gameplay, bad ending. This game is overhyped garbage. <laughs> and this is from unbiased PS4 Rev. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Correct. And, and the score? <laughs> Zero out of ten. T- two? <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. A, a big yeah. two. I wrote that review. A big number two. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. The last one, Joe. So, so far you are at two and, two and, a, half. and a half out of four. Yeah. Mm, you could do this. I know I could do it. Lazy cash in from last gen games. Completely mediocre of third person cover shooter, scripted and linear to the point of extreme boredom. A complete rip off of every B grade adventure movie uh, ever made. I give away the mm. Uncharted HD collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the score? Yeah, uh, that'll be a one out of ten. That'll be a zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's a zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. That was three and a half out of five. I would get my thing is that's some pretty pretty dodgy reviews there but mm-hmm. I do kind of agree with a couple of the points made which makes me feel like I'm a horrible person what I find is that sometimes you will find reading the user reviews you'll find things you can agree with yeah. but scores like, <laughs> they should just remove the scoring yeah. and wrapped up in such awful language Aye, like that person oh this game this is game is fun but there's problems uh-huh. that would never constitute in my mind if, I, if someone said to me oh what do you think about this game oh it's fun there's a few things I'm not too uh-huh. sure about one out of ten <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's like, oh, this, oh, you know what? I that, what what that guy did said was a bit annoying, but I do like him, so I'm gonna stab him <laughs> and kill him. One out of ten. <laughs> I don't know where that was going there for a second. So, what would you think our number one feature is then on the podcast? I'd probably say it's the essential list. The essential list. <laughs> I've done that for a while, actually. We should do that after this. <laughs> no. The one that people cry out for, more of, more, more, <laughs> until all the games we could possibly do for it have been ruined and yeah. taken away mm-hmm. and we have to stop doing the podcast. That is, of course, Is It Canon? All right. So, the rules of Is It Canon... There's a new one. There's, what? Is this a new feature? No, it's, 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 it's the same old feature. <laughs> same, same old. <laughs> same old feature, brand new, brand new flavour. Hot new style. <laughs> nope, so Is It Canon basically means Scott quiz each other on sort of long-running video game series. The rules are, if it's been in any officially licensed entry into the series whether it's a t-shirt or a game then it's canon mm-hmm. it doesn't even matter if it contradicts something else have within we the canon. ever had anything from related t-shirt? to t-shirts uh, no but I'll use that as this yeah, a, if it's on a t-shirt well that's because it's like you know the go-to sort of you know yeah. I'm going to see for the next one of these I'm just going to load up <laughs> one of these like t-shirt websites <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get queer tea or something remember Some. uh, has Link ever dressed up as Heisenberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario with a sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. Uh, so today we're going to do Onimusha. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. So the reason for that is because earlier on this week uh, people were talking about Capcom remasters. I don't know mm-hmm. why, but uh, Onimusha was brought up and I think there should be a Onimusha remaster because th- that's a, a series that deserves... Are going to sort the controls? <laughs> what do you mean? The controls are perfect the way they are. <sighs> what? I don't know. Uh, for Onimusha 3. Onimusha 3 is... What? Only Musha 3 controls well. No, but... Ugh, you wished. You just you wished. Right. So, Only Musha. Obviously, it's somewhat based in real Japanese history, as mm-hmm. a lot of things are, but it's been yeah. blemished somewhat. So, Nobunaga Oda, mm-hmm. uh, famously the man who unified Japan. Uh, at the beginning of Only Musha 1, he is killed and then resurrected as a sort of undead version of himself by the Demon King. This is based in reality because no one I got that, even though he was pierced through the throat, still won a battle two months later. Is it canon? Yeah, canon. That's not canon. Was no, it not? No, no one I got that did actually die, and that was his death. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, no, but the, 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 well, I mean, I knew he died. No, no, but, but no, but he didn't actually unify Japan after he gets pierced through the throat. Oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. Cool. yeah. Of a shit question there, wasn't it? <laughs> was I? That's, that's good. It's cool though, you just keep yeah. asking questions while I Google something. Okay. And Onimusha 2, 
Jubi mm-hmm. Yagyu, the main character. Yep. The main character finds his home village destroyed by demons. He finds a man speared with multiple arrows and moments from death. His conversation starter. Are you alright? Is it canon? Canon. That's, that's canon. The first question that Jub- Jubi asks a man pierced with at least five arrows stumbling to his death is, Are you alright? <laughs> You say it just like that as well. Well, no, he, he kind of just. Well, the thing is, the voice acting so bad, and it? it is a sort of. Are, are you alright? <laughs> Anyone who moves to two, there's lots of secondary characters you meet. One of them, a young boy, Kotaro, who's a ninja. He gives Yagyu Jubi a nickname Jobby. <laughs> oh. Does he think about it? Because. <laughs> no, no, I'm never going to think about it. No, it's not canon. It's not canon. <laughs> Jobby Agu. I'm not even thinking about it. It's not canon. You're right, it's not. I'm not entertaining it for a single <laughs> second longer. You're right, it's not canon. But then you think about it, you know, that could get through because there's only one place in the world where that's a funny word. Oh, funny. <laughs> oh, God. So is that two or uh, no, it's two or three. Two or three, right, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, right, which one of these uh, bosses right. in Onimusha isn't canon. Oh, right, okay. Okay. Big Ogre Demon. Mm-hmm. Genma Phallus. <laughs> <laughs> Genma Phallus. Hey. Right, okay. Listen, the, the, the main character in Fantasy Star is called Dark Phallus, so... <laughs> you know, so, so... These Japanese devs... <laughs> okay, right. Better than Big Ogre Demon anyway. <laughs> but blast the... Th- I'll give you the third one just to... to okay, right, it. okay. Or golden evil, golden, golden evil statue. Okay, right. right. So big over team. Ken my father's <laughs> or golden evil Ken statue. Ken my father's. <laughs> That's for us. That's for us. Ken my father's. Ah, you're right. <laughs> I made that one up. <laughs> Don't know why I made Ken that. Ken my father's. <laughs> and uh, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the last bust on Emusha 2 again? Oh, it was Big Rotten Dick. Big <laughs> Rotten Dick. Devil Dick. <laughs> Devil Dick. <laughs> okay, many of the enemies in Onimusha, for some bizarre reason, are... <laughs> what? I'll tell time. you, it's, okay. it's based on at least... It's not Onimusha, obviously, but it's another series that does happen. Right, anyway, okay. For some reason, I don't know why this is, mm-hmm. Onimusha games, most of the bad- baddies are named after Shakespearean characters. Mm-hmm. Which of these Shakespearean characters does not feature oh, right, okay. in Onimusha? Guildenstern, mm-hmm. Fortinbras, mm-hmm. Rosencrantz, mm-hmm. Rinaldo, mm-hmm. Bottom, Marcellus. Mm, well, I know Guildenstern does, because he killed him in Onimusha 3. Uh, yeah. And Fortinbras. He's the last boss in Onimusha 1. Mm-hmm. Is he? Yeah. Thanks for giving that away. Well, I thought he's, ah, ah. Yeah, 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 your Jedi mind tricks will work on me. <laughs> oh, Jojo Binks. <laughs> George Binks. George Binks. Um, I just take a seat over there, and uh, I'll just, I'll just be over a minute with the paper. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, I'm just gonna go with bottom. Uh, well, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna show me your phone there. It's like you're leaning around as if you're. Are oh, you right? Look. <laughs> It's a picture of my pop. So is that four out of five? Four out of five. Wow, yeah. I know Only Musha better than I know my own. Well, to my be fair, you, you completed Only Musha three, didn't you? Which mm. I still never finished. Three. Yeah, it's the only one I have completed. Yeah, Only Musha one and two, I think, were better games. But that's I, I wasn't a massive fan of the tank style control mm. that they had. But I'm, Only Musha three was brilliant. Honestly, Aye. with big genre. They're note. crying out for a, 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 an HD remake. I think, like. I'd on the on the in the style mm. of the Resident Evil, I just like a new one. A new one would be good. But then was was the fourth one? Dawn, Dawn of Dawn of Dreams. Yeah, Dawn of Dreams. Ah, yeah. that didn't. They, I think I just fucking bombed. It bombed. It. It's got some fans, Remember but it got some They made a Smash reviews. Brothers style fighting game. Ah, it's though. fucking amazing. Blade was, Warriors. Yeah, have you still got that? Yeah, no, I remember I borrowed it overnight oh, yeah. once, but that was, but it was, that was properly that was really great fun. Aye. Again, that again the PS2 mm. having games coming out for it that could not have existed in any other format. It's like. Oh, we're going to bring it on Onimusha multiplayer. Actually, I was playing on PlayStation 2 last night, actually, mm-hmm. because, you know, they're talking about the PlayStation 2 emulation on the PlayStation 4. Yeah. They're probably going to make you buy your games a yeah, little bit. Yeah. yeah, But it made me want to just, you know, mm-hmm. play the PlayStation 2 a little bit, and it's such a good, it's still one of my favourite consoles. See if they bring ever. out Yakuza 1 and 2. Oh, HD. I will buy that. Well, not even, even HD, if just H- the PS1, H- PS2 collection. I, I'm not even going to expect them to bring out the HD collection. Yeah. Anymore. 
But I'm, um, I'm even there's a part of me that's even wondering if they're actually going to bring out Yakuza Five. I know. I think I Edge reviewed it, but I'm not. No, I've not had because I was kind of trying to figure out if Edge reviewed it based on aye. the Japanese version or the English version. Aye, because they're the only place that's released anything. I've aye, got a feeling the Japanese version. I was going to say because hey, if there's a review coming, surely we'll get it. <laughs> surely, we, surely we'll get it. I think Sega probably think of us as mad stalkers. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, we don't know anything encourage yeah. us. Okay, now it's time for you guys to say your bits. Say your bit you have. <laughs> say your bit. So we asked you to ask us questions. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought about a few different, like, oh, I'll set my topic, and then I was like, it got to Thursday, and I was like, I've not thought of anything. Well, the thing is, I quite like having just questions sometimes, because it's yeah. quite good to have a, a range of topics rather than just the same ones, mm-hmm. so I think it's good to do this now and again. Yeah. So we're going to go through Facebook first. Scott Shoot Shoot Right asks, what do you want from the NX, that's Nintendo's new console thing? Mm. What do you want from it? I want... To I want it to be out for a year, <laughs> maybe two years, and there not to be a single op-ed piece about how it's failed and Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, down. yeah. That, I, see, that was a, yeah. I don't care where games coming from. I yeah. would just like it to come out and just folk to give it a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give piece a chance. I, well, I but, no, you know, actually, I mean, you know what I want. I want mm. Nintendo just to do whatever the hell they want. Because even Nintendo does what what it wants mm. and doesn't list them else. It does the yeah. best stuff. I hope they got a GameCube too. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice too. Um, I just want. Do you know what the Wii had? The Wii U has a brilliant catalogue of games. Mm. I mean, obviously, it's not the widest. Backwards compatibility. Obviously, it'd be amazing yeah. to be able to play Wii, Wii U, and that would be nice. NX games. But it depends on how what the format the NX is going to have. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, so many not not a ton, but a lot of the games for the Wii U depend on the pad. Yeah. And if that wasn't going to be compatible in some way, shape, or form, then. That's probably going to rule out battles compatibility for a lot of it. Mm. The whole portable thing uh, sounds amazing if it's true, but no, I've, I've, already got, shot, I've, already got, I've already got a 3DS, uh, so I'm not too bothered yeah. about it. But if, if, if they give it to me, I'll yeah. take it. I just think anything anything Nintendo does when Nintendo does things without listening to folk, mm-hmm. it does the best things. Yeah, you know, and that's what, so so Nintendo can they can just do whatever the hell they want, and I'll probably love it. So yeah, that's, that's what I think. Luke Russell, any chance for post-apocalyptic East versus West comparing Fallout Four with Shin Megami Tansy? Fo- Tansy Shin Megami Tansy. Shin Megami Tansy. Shin Megami Tansy. Tansy. Would be super niche though. Uh, alternative, I just got a second hand Wii. Are there any hidden gems I need to get? Yes. So East versus West. I mean, obviously we're, we're, we're doing more East versus West videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please watch the last one, the recent yeah. game one. Probably say, I mean, it's not really fair to compare Fallout Four to Shin Megami Tensei Four because I like one of them. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I feel bad about it. I'm not, Don't feel cause, bad, man. Cause I, you see, playing it, I can totally see why folk enjoy it. Hidden Gems Three. I've got one actually. I played it this mm-hmm. week for the first time in a while. Uh, beat the Beat Rhythm Paradise. Mm-hmm. And you, you get that Argos for yeah. like twenty pence. It's dirt cheap, and it's 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 probably the best Beat the Beat game that I've played. Mm-hmm. I played it well. I played the DS one and I played the Game Boy Advance one in Japan. Yeah, and the Wii one's definitely the best one. I mm-hmm. think it's really, really good. Hidden games. I think if you can find it, um, Tatsunoko vs Capcom. Oh, I fucking. Uh, um, though it's quite hard to find. It's, now dis- it's been discontinued. discontinued. Uh, Sean Hunt. LEDs. Uh, Sean, uh, LEDs. No, wait, no, that's DS. No LEDs came out. Oh, I'm thinking about um, fucking. Was it Ella Bits? Yeah, probably. Like uh, LEDs was quite a good. Sean Hunt replies and says Little King Story, which I've not played, but I feel it's really good. So. Yeah, it, I got, it was one of the games that I got for PS Plus for my Vita, back when I had my Vita, and downloaded it and never played it. But I've heard it's brilliant, mm. but I just never got it. <laughs> uh, Greg Hay says, Can we be friends? <laughs> Right, like. ah, right. And if that's not what you're, if, if not, then what's your recommended Japan destination for a gaming loving, game loving human? I'll defer to you. Well, seeing as I went to Japan this year earlier with the ramen museum, <laughs> the, with the ramen, yeah. Uh, ask Jim. Let's all brew about that. <laughs> he loves that ramen museum. I saw a picture of him in the ramen museum <laughs> with a bunch of girls. I know, actually, that's that's that well, uh, <laughs> I mean, I remember that quite well, but I don't remember. Him he must have been on his own. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, Akihabara is the big one in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. But it's so, it's so mega dense Full of people nowadays And it's like a Nowadays Well no like, not compared, No no Compared to It had its mm-hmm. sort of The legendary place was It was where you get Cheap electronics Whereas now it's where you go To get games Like character statues And toys and all that Right cool But there's still a lot Of really good shops there Like Super Potato Is a big one But there's a lot mm-hmm. of Wii shops as well But any city mm-hmm. in, in, in Japan but in, uh, The couple we went to uh, Tokyo and Osaka I think Kyoto may have one as well There's a, there's a chain of shops Called Book Off Or Book I Book Off I think it is It's like mm-hmm. a second hand bookshop But it does second hand everything like yeah. clothes as well but the game section is amazing mm. and like dirt dirt cheap games that are really high quality because you know yeah. people take care of their games there apart from fucking Tycoon Attached that I bought it doesn't work but I bought a million PS2 games and yeah. uh, they're great so yeah any any book off <laughs> yeah. is the best place to go for buying games mm-hmm. Jacob Dutt he says if it's sultry does that mean we'll see a return of the baby when the lights go out feature no I don't think we'll ever see a return of you baby know, when we the lights go out we were actually contacted by the UK government <laughs> 
about that and we're not allowed to do it anymore. It was just too sexy. It was too sexy. It was too hot. Aye. Too hot, too handle. Ben Philpott, David Guest or John McCrittick? <laughs> what? All the way and then I gave him a baller man after in bed. <laughs> um, so, do, uh, <laughs> David Guest, is that is that Owen John's husband? No, David Guest is the guy, he was Liza Minnelli's husband for a while, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. The weird looking guy. Yeah, you're right. Um... <laughs> Uh, well, I suppose him. I mean, is Jeremy Craddock still alive? Yeah, he's, he's still alive. No, he's still alive. Well, he's just not on telly anymore because he's an still, I mean, still David Guest. If I, I mean, <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> what am I doing with my game? Playing Bomberman. Yeah, apparently, you're going all the way with him and then playing all the way? Bomberman. I'm going all the way. <laughs> that's, that's right, yeah, suppose we're going all the way then. Um, Nicholas Boyd Isaacson says Xenoblade Chronicles X's world looks absolutely stunning, but I'm not mm-hmm. sold by the combat and all the complex systems. Do you reckon it's still worth getting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because every GRPG from the outset mm. looks really confusing mm. but the sign of a great GRPG is how it introduces you to those systems so to begin with it will be mm. basic stuff as it goes on it will drip feed yeah. you because these are games designed to last yeah. you say say if you concentrate purely on the story it'll probably at least 50, 60, yeah. 70 hours it will drip feed everything yeah. to you like because then it's the same you had a lot of problems I still, I'm still having problems with it to be honest and I don't it, know it, it took right, a while for me to click like the whole colour system took me ages to click with uh, that's annoying there's um, a lot of annoying things in it like, mm. I, but the same have... with Bravely Default when, it, like I said when I played the demo for Bravely Default mm. could yeah, not I, understand I, I can sympathise because I've been asking myself this question because there are there have been massive chunks of Xenoblade where I've not been enjoying it and it's because the actual mm-hmm. fighting and the actual system of the game is not yeah. that enjoyable. And the thing that's k- keeping me through is the fact that you know there's a boss around the corner or a story yeah. bit or something. You know, just to see what happens next. See, for me, I, th- so I think I, I, it gets I, to a point where when, when, when the combat, I think... And you have still pre-ordered the limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> but the same thing put me off for ages playing the, the core Shin Megami Tensei games because mm. I knew they were totally different to like Persona 4. Yeah. But when I got into... Playing Shin Megami Tensei 4, it was. Mm. See, when you enter, it's, it's one of the most rewarding. Well, it's really it? fast, though. Uh, the mm-hmm. fighting in, Shim, uh, in, yeah. in Mega Ten, as it's called. Yeah. Uh, it's really. The, the fourth one, anyway, it's just mega quick, mm. the fighting in it. It's, you know, battles but last the whole, like, a But also, like, most. talking to enemies yeah, and trying to get them off your side. Kind of so different yeah. to anything I'd played. So, yeah. aye, worth it, definitely. Get a shot. Uh, I Jesus a shot. Christ, it's probably the last big game coming out for the Wii U apart from Zelda. <laughs> no, they're not fine. I know, I know they're Star cool. Fox and Fire but this this is going to be the the mm. big the, yeah, the last yeah. big yeah. GRPG. And there's mechs in it as well this time. That'll oh, aye, it looks amazing. Or see scales. The, like see the, the transformation scales. looks brilliant. Anyway, moving <coughs> on to Twitter. First, we have Ian Dixon who asks us, "What's the weirdest game you've cracked one out to?" <laughs> <laughs> Ian, his <laughs> is iPad. iPad. <laughs> Mine is a uh, connectimals. <laughs> uh, a dog's you? life. <laughs> a dog's life. Oh, that's a deep cut. A deep cut. Uh, Jim at, at Let's Hug Bro, the king of the, the Ramen Museum, he asks, when will Joe complete Xenoblade Chronicles? Hopefully before the new one comes out. You actually replied to that saying, as soon as Scott completes Skyward Sword, so never. <sighs> You need to complete Skyward Sword, man. You need to finish that game. It's so good. So good. At Joe Dillon asks, less successful podcasters are coming to steal your award. <laughs> Which game characters would you deploy to defend Bitsocketing Keep? Oh, Kazuma Kiryu. The Kazuma Kiryu, because yeah. Because he's, he's fought zombies, he's fought... Tell me, you say Kazuma Kiryu and I'll say Majima, then. Between oh, the two God. of them, I think they, they, they told the four. The Mad Dog the and mad, mad dog Dragon Majima. of Dojima? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I know I know. we talk about it a lot. But if he's done it all by Yakuza 5 when it comes out. Exactly. Oh, you. See when I saw that forum the other day and there's a guy saying, oh, I'm not going to buy it because it's digital only. It's the cool. only way to buy it. No, that's it. <laughs> Why or, would you do or, that? Or if I actually saw one person say, well, I um, suppose I might as well just import it from Japan because they're not bringing it physical. It's like, you've had that option for three years. Yeah. That's been, that, uh, that option has been on the table for three years. It's now. actually, it's enraging because like, that's the only way you can play the game in English. I think people say, just fucking th- This was comments it. under like one of the, the Sony blog things. Mm. And I was like, do people say this in a kind of like, oh, I'm going to say I'm not going to buy it properly so that Sony changed their minds? Aye, one person said, but, <laughs> oh, right, oh, quite a bit better make an expensive physical edition yeah. for a game series that's probably not going to sell. I know. Well, I think what makes look at the way it's coming factors, as well. I've actually, I'm, 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 I'm contemplating buying Yakuza 6 next year when it comes out in yeah. Japanese. And I'm beginning, like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking more and more at some of these sites that do, like, the full game yeah, translations yeah. and just think, you know what, maybe yeah. that's the way it's going to be. Definitely. Because I just want to play them. It's one of my favourite games. And I'm like, oh, anyway, right. Yeah. Anyway, Gavin Spence, you're both trapped on a burning space station. There's one life pod back to Earth. Who gets in why? Mm. To be honest, I'd be in it without even thinking. I'd I'd, be in there. I would let you go. Yeah. Good. I'd let you. 
I'd let you. Do you let me let you? Yeah. I would like, let you go. I would. I think the world. Mm-hmm. The world would need the world, the, world, the world would be. What are we both doing in a space station? I'm not allowed to be an astronaut because I'm partially colour blind. <laughs> so is that all you're not allowed to do? <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to be an electrician. Yeah, yeah. But I could be an astronaut. But, but why would I be there though? Like, so have you driven me up? It's a Thunderbird Five, you know. Like, what's he doing up there? <laughs> well, he's monitoring. Is he fuck? Emergency he's activity. He's, he's just jacking his base. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, god, he's 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 such a pervert. We need to keep him in space. <laughs> <laughs> Twinzig asks who do you think has a larger penis Bob or Bob mm, Bob Bob yeah because yeah, he's got a proper name because <laughs> his name because his name is a bit like Bob mm-hmm. Evelyn and Jafel asks speaking of sultry whatever happened to the essential list oh we'll bring it back eventually. Uh, we might bring it back you know what there'll be one week where we can't think of anything to do so we'll bring it back <laughs> uh, he says that was a great wee feature thank you he also actually has quite a few PPS's oh, um, God, here we go. right there, I read these actually I'll try to find them because the way Twitter doesn't PS even though I put we there, I am from England. <laughs> I thought I'd just clarify. That's good. Yeah, fraud. Then he says, oh fuck, there's so many of these. PPS though, actually what am I clarifying? It's the Queen's fucking English and I'm English, <laughs> so I can say what I want, fucking jocks. <laughs> then he says, sorry about that, it's been a tough day at work. Never should have <laughs> said right. that, love you guys. That's all right, Phil. And then he, PP, PPS, independence now. <laughs> and PP, PP, PPS, fucking Joe. Uh, Cheers, Phil. I think we've met this time. The mm. downf- that's on breakdown, down, d- downfall moment down there. there. Andrew McLachlan, I hope that's right. <laughs> do you know anything about Cyberpunk 2077? After which of three, I'm really excited to see what they do with the set. I think we don't get any extra information. No, we don't. All I've seen of it is that trailer. From, and and it it's, like a, it's, like a, it's a teaser trailer. It's well, I think the so. CD Projekt have said that making The Witcher 3 and the size of Witcher 3 is heavily informed what they're doing with it. Mm. And they've said so far the game is on course to be bigger than The Witcher 3. <sighs> which, in The Witcher 3, is one of the most. It's not the biggest game. Mm. necessarily but it's so packed with stuff to do and mm. it's a gorgeous world to explore so I can't wait because the idea of them bringing it I quite like the idea of an open world sci-fi thing like. I, I know I think that's why like remember when De- the Deus Ex Human Revolution came out I think that's one of the reasons it did so well is because yeah. a lot of the RPGs we get like all the, a lot of Japanese ones mm. are, the bigger ones right now are all kind of fantasy style mm. there's not a lot of science fiction like, well, again, I, Massive I, that's probably one of the reasons it did so well as well kind of one of the reasons I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy XV so much is that there's going to be big like sort of high tech cities and stuff in mm-hmm. it that you can just explore like yeah. that sounds cool that to me appeals to me it uh, appeals to me quite a lot but yeah. Cyberpunk 20, 2077 I think yeah. it's still like, at least another two years yeah. away but most well, of the open world games nowadays it. are either modern cities or historical cities like Assassin's Creed mm-hmm. like futuristic open world stuff is there's yeah. it's not a lot of it so no that's talks. Mm. I mean cool <laughs> uh, Diabetic Charlie Sorry to hear about that Whilst you're getting some messages Wario got jumped In a bad way Which body part Are you willing to donate To save Wario Whatever it takes <laughs> Whatever it takes Ah uh, yeah why not? Well, Depends I mean if Everything What's wrong with done. him The thing is He looks like he's, he's, he, looks like he's he doesn't look har- well anyway He looks like he's been Harvesting organs for a while <laughs> Yeah What tank Asks uh, wanker piss uh, What's a wank <laughs> Actually, right? Do you Actually know? I was wanking the other night. No. Do you remember back at school? Right, <laughs> 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 right you know the the, the the ice cream van, the tuck shop van came out once, right? <laughs> the guy No Did the guy wank you off? <laughs> No. Here, boy, you want nice pop? No, some dads, but you know those tubes you get, the sweeties that are like a red tube with sort of a white sherbet. Sh- sh- white fondant inside? It was sherbet. It's not sure, but no, it's, it's, it's oh, like marshmallow yeah. inside almost, yeah, right? Yeah, you get in the pictures as well. Aye, aye. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't know what they were called, and somebody wanted some, uh, and, I, and they said, yeah. ask for a wank, and I didn't know, I was, it was first year, you know, I, I was yeah. such a, a, a naive child, yeah. so I went up and asked, can I have a wank? <laughs> 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 to the guy in the van. And he gave me one. I, <laughs> you like, that'll be £10. Pounds. And you like, that must be some wank. <laughs> and you were lighting up your wee eyes, that sounds like a good wank, <laughs> putting £10 pounds on Anyway, uh, yeah. that answers my question. Paul Kelly, would you rather get noshed off by Wario or slip a finger up Yoshi? The questions are very dirty today, aren't well, they? I said sultry. <laughs> noshed off by Yoshi, probably. I think that was an option. Right. It was noshed off by Wario or slip a finger up Yoshi. Right. You can't just pick and choose. <laughs> noshed, well, I don't know, noshed off by Wario then. <laughs> I don't even know what noshed off means to me. What does that mean? I'll show you after. <laughs> uh, and the last one, uh, Robbie Smythe. Or do you pronounce it Smith with, if it's with a Y? I don't know. I, I just don't Smith. know. Because I know when people spell my last name it's with a Y, Smith. it's still white. So I'm going to go with Smith, because you look like a good guy. Not that if you'd be a bad guy with Smith. <laughs> <laughs> he asks, what are your thoughts on Linkle? And ah, he has hashtag right. 
10 out of 10 wood bang <laughs> bloody hell right so Flinkle is for people who don't know this is the new female version of Link that's been it's not a female version of Link it's just a female character that wears a green hood and is called Linkle that, that's that been aye, my biggest problem aye, no it. but she was designed as a female aye, I know she Link. is but aye. she's not she's not like a proper analogue yeah. which is what people were probably wanting yeah. I think here's what I think right mm. Oh, she looks cool. I think she looks cool, right? Mm-hmm. I think she looks cool. I like the crossbows thing, double crossbows. Kind of, kind of, you know, that's cool. You know, the name is stupid as fuck though. Link cool. What's that all about? It's Link-o. not even like a female. Aye. Like if you were to think of a female version of the name Link, it would either just be Link, yeah. or something better than Linko. <laughs> you know, Link. <laughs> well, Linko just sounds like Linko. I, I, I mean, I like. I think the design's fine. That is cool. Yeah, but I do. I do, I do find myself thinking mm. it's like I'd just rather they turn around and said right. Here's the female version of Link, and it was just pretty much the same. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I would just call, just call the, if they just called a Link and just gave her the hell the, the Master Sword, yeah. like Link has, then what, that'd be cool as well. What maybe? I, I just think it's cool. What I do, yeah. I, I think there's a, I think there's been a lot written about her. Mm. A lot, maybe a bit too much to be honest. Yeah. Like she's cool, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of hand wringing about ringing about it. Mm-hmm. I'm still. I'm, what I'm hoping is that is this maybe Nintendo warming to the idea of possibly making a, a like a main playable female character in the next. Yeah, big Zelda. they just me choose whether Link's male or female in the next Zelda. Yeah. I think that's. Would uh, you then want that to impact on Zelda? Would you want then, say, for example, if you went female Link, no, should you then have no because male Zelda? No, there isn't really a Zelda game where you couldn't have been a female Link. I think. Yeah. You know, like. And yeah, no, I think it would be. A, I think it would add an interesting element to it. Right. But we'll wait and see. I mean, I'm not going to tell Nintendo their business. <laughs> Exactly. Because I don't know. I mean, maybe it's difficult. As to I said it. earlier, Nintendo, just do what you want yeah. and I will lap it up whatever it is. It'd be know? good, though. It, it would be good. It would be good. It's weird how that Triforce game, like, they do everything, but, like, you can mm-hmm. get those addresses and stuff like that, but they don't give you a female character to play as, as uh, well. It's a bit weird. It is funny, though. Like, well, like yeah. well addressed. It is cute. <laughs> anyway, we've come to the end of the BitSocket podcast we have. for another week. Yeah. Same week, we don't do every fucking uh, If you want to check us out on YouTube, our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash bitsocket, where we've got plenty of new videos, we've been making loads of them recently. Yeah, we have. Especially actually. our Opus, East versus West racing games. Your Opus. No, our Opus, but a lot of, lot of effort went into that, a lot of writing, a lot of, lot of research. I heard you've got a prolapsed Opus, is that true? <laughs> uh, we you can also find uh, our podcast on iTunes, where you can leave us a wee review and a rating if you get a chance. Mm-hmm. That's so right, always, always counts. Yeah. Uh, you can also find us on, uh, I was going to say you can find us on BitSocket, fuck off. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter, at BitSocket, you can yeah. find us on Facebook, at BitSocket, and of course our website, Bit. www.bit-socket.com. Yeah. And if you look into the night sky, and night skies are quite long nowadays, you might see your faces gleaming off the moon, and we will say to you, keep BitSocket. <laughs> to see what you do we see our faces on the moon and we'll ask you how do you do <laughs> <laughs> we'll be seeing you soon that's our new sign up how do you do how do you do <laughs>